Hey, we're Agilite Tactical from Israel. Thanks for stopping by the booth. Just wanted to take a few minutes to introduce you to some of our gear. First up, we have our K5 plate carrier. This is our newest plate carrier. It has dual density foam in the shoulders as well as on the back of both plate bags, so it's very, very comfortable. All of the material used to construct it is either 500 or 1,000 uh, density Cordura nylon. We've got mil-spec Bartax stitching holding all of the components together so it's incredibly sturdy. One thing to note about our Velcro overlay is that it's laser cut and stitched directly to the Molly. So these layers will not separate even after months or years of even use. Of use. One of the other features that we're really, really happy about is the built-in admin pouch right here at the top. As you can see, it runs pretty deep into the plate carrier. A couple of other things. The cummerbund is adjustable in the back using Velcro as opposed to a more traditional thread through the molly type thing, which you'll see on other plate carriers. And also, it does have stretch capability to give you a little bit of additional expansion has a built-in drag handle as well. And probably the best feature of this is the fact that the shoulder straps, as opposed to just ending right here at the corners, you can see run all the way down into the center of the plate carrier, which really helps distribute the weight. So this is an incredibly lightweight carrier. It weighs about 2.2 pounds, and it's one of the most comfortable plate carriers I've ever used. On the shoulders, you have built-in channels for hydration and comms on both sides, depending on how you choose to run those. One of the other features to note is the fact that we have this, in essence, strip of Velcro that runs right down the back of the carrier, which brings me to our next product, which is the AMAP2 Assault Pack. So, a couple things to note. This has a built-in compartment to store and carry your helmet. It's pretty minimalist as far as pouches and whatnot, and that's by design. But we've put molly loops on the sides if there are other accessories or pouches that you as an operator want to add to it. But it does feature this strip of Velcro here that runs down the middle of the pack which will adhere to the Velcro on the back of the plate carrier. So that's one of the ways that you can attach the pack to the carrier simply by unfolding all of this and adhering it to the pack. You are able to very quickly get rid of the shoulder belts as well and I'll just pop one of these off so you can see. But it detaches at the top and the bottom like this so you can completely get rid of the shoulder straps and adhere it directly to the plate carrier. All right, so the next pack that we have in the series is gonna be the AMAP 30, which is more like a three-day pack. And it has some other features, but one of the most important is the way that it met, that it mates up to the plate carrier. So we have this flap here that you release and you can in essence fold this under. And this flap stores down here at the base which creates a little bit of a shelf here. So and again it has this center velcro strip. So when you take the plate carrier and put it on there, you in essence have a flat back and for longer, longer hikes, this also gives you a lot of lumbar support underneath the plate carrier, which if you're carrying a heavy load, as we all know, is really, really important. So pretty cool feature about this pack. One of the other attachments that comes with standard is a rifle carrier package. So you would, in essence, put the buttstock of your rifle in this here, lay the rifle across,
Where is it? And then you're able to secure the receiver with this. And this one also has a built-in helmet carrier as well in this pouch here. So again, very lightweight, very minimalist as far as exterior features go, but we do have strips of molly on there so that you are able to attach any number of, of pouches depending on what your mission requirements are. So, one of our other popular items is our Agilite Bridge, which was designed specifically for accessory management because none of us are running clean helmets anymore. So, in this instance, we've got a Hellstar 6 as well as PVS 31s on this just to demonstrate how the bridge is able to secure all of those extra attachments, be it a Mohawk camera, like I said, the Hellstar, whatever else you, you choose to put on your helmet. This also manages all your cords and cables for you, which keeps everything in a nice clean profile on top of the helmet and keeps you from snagging those things as you're doing entry work or moving to targets through wooded areas or whatnot. It keeps everything locked down. So once you secure all of your attachments to the top of the bridge, we have this drawstring here in the back, which cinches everything down nice and tight. And you can literally pick your helmet up by the bridge and shake it and nothing moves. The battery pack and counterweight pack in the back, whether you're running 31s, whether you're running panos, if you have a single tube system with a counterweight, this pack back here expands width-wise and also depth-wise. So it doesn't matter what system you're running, it will be able to accommodate it. So this is our one of our more popular items. A lot of folks out in the field are using it. We're getting some really, really good feedback on it. Um, this is our Gen 4 helmet cover, which in essence incorporates all of the functionality of the bridge, which by the way, is a universal system. So it doesn't matter if you're running an MTEC, an Ops Core, a 3M, whatever helmet you, you or your unit are running, this will work on it. And the whole idea for the term bridge is to bridge the rear Velcro with the top Velcro. Anyway, getting back to the Gen 4 helmet cover, it incorporates all the functionality of the bridge into a full helmet cover. The cover is beneficial from the standpoint that it maintains the integrity of the ballistic material in the helmet. So with every gouge or scratch or ding, you're degrading its ability to protect you. So having the cover on the helmet helps mitigate that risk somewhat. For bump helmets and whatnot, you can see this mesh here, which allows it to breathe to help keep your, your nugget warm when it's hot outside or when you're really getting after it and working hard, sweating, getting warmed up and whatnot. So it's completely breathable and all of the other features, like I mentioned, are, are what you would find in the bridge, just a complete helmet cover. So those are some of our more popular sellers here at Agilite. If you'd like, please stop by and see us for a few more hours at booth 20659 or go check us out on the web at www.agilitegear.com. Thanks. If you like this video and want to support us, please check out the Millspec Monkey Store. Although known for morale patches, we also specialize in a good selection of DIY hardware and tactical accessories.